at all. I mean, it looks like Carl looks like he'd be at least two or three inches taller. I saw him in the elevator, I think, before the weigh-ins. Yeah. I was like, I need a couple phone books to stand up on here. Dude, he's huge. Here we go. For lots of power to be generated by these two. Using his hips, fainting with the hips, just to see what the reaction is by Albertson. Nice left landed there by Carl. Nice. Yeah, nervous energy there by Cristiano right now. Well, it's got to be a lot of pressure having the guy you look up to, the mentor, the coach in your corner. Not wanting to lose in front of him, not wanting to disappoint him. Oh, oh my wow. goodness. That is power with that left leg kick. Wow, that was to the body. It wasn't even to his legs. It still dropped him down. It swept him, hit him so hard in the body, it upended him. Over a minute, or just a minute into this fight here, Joe Ferraro joined alongside by Frank Trigg. Yokohama Arena, Ryzen 15. For joining us from around the world, don't forget to follow Frank Trigg. Twitter is active right now. You can use the hashtag Ryzen15. Follow yours truly at Showdown Joe. These two gentlemen here trying to make a statement, specifically sending a message to the gentlemen in our main event tonight, King Mo and Yuri Prohaska, who will be one of them will be crowned the first ever light heavyweight champion. These two are looking for a title shot with a win tonight. Albertson right now on top, getting past one leg. Still in half guard though, but still working. Using some elbows there. Elbows are allowed in this fight, Frank. Great position change. Did a good job. Didn't keep that half guard as tight as he could have, as he was always back in guard. He called it a good job of, of getting little shots, putting in, and trying to make uh, full move as much as possible. Releasing his left arm, throwing that elbow. Albertson's working non-stop here. I guess doesn't want to fight, doesn't want this fight to be stood up. Are you surprised with that, Frank? Considering um, he dropped him? Oh, nice up kick there by Frillich. Well, also, too, you might, you might think, hey, that, that drop was just luck. I had to catch him off balance. He's moving one way. I keep him the other and made him fall down. It really wasn't me being better tactical. It's just I had to catch him at the right time. So Carl's like, I don't want to be in that damage anymore. He might have got hit earlier and felt something that, that he didn't notice. So now he wants to be on top. But also, too, his on top is working really well. So why give up that position if you don't have to? Frolich active from the bottom with his feet here, trying to land an up kick. <laughs> up kicks have caused a lot of damage. I mean, I can go old school and say Henzo Gracie, Oleg Takarov. Yeah. We can talk about, you know, what happened here in Japan with Gegard Musashi, Jacare. That kick would be devastating if they land flush. Especially if you're coming into it, right? Like, oh my gosh, yeah. You're trying to jump into it and hit him with a big, big haymaker and catch him in the face first. Or your body weight coming down with foot weight right in the middle. A good push here, wow. And now it's fully able to stand up here. He's chasing Albertson. He throws his own body kick. He's got Albertson bloody, although that's not saying too much because Albertson is always bloody. Look for the knee there. One minute to go here. Round number one scheduled for three. Look for the trip there by Albertson. Moving back, moving forward. They're in the corner now. He's using the arm. That's two takedowns. Two takedowns is happening right there. And Christian had his arm hanging over the, over the rope and it stopped the takedown. You can see the grip from our angle here by Albertson. Telling him below the belt. So we get a low knee and now they're going to have the doctor look at, at it, Albertson nose, but he now loses this position, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, which is bad because 
He had him in the corner. He had him being driven in. He had a good position. Oh, familiar. I just want to double check. Uh, yellow cards are still 10%. 10% of the yeah. pay. Yep. I don't know. I didn't know if they moved or not. I was trying to double check that. In the mission. So he does, in fact, lose the position. Back to the center of the ring they go. Well, in that case, rightfully so, he should lose the position because he, you know, it was, was uh, Carl that threw the knee to the groin, so he should lose that position. No, it was actually Cristiano that hit him. Oh, it was the other way around. Yeah, it was Cristiano that hit him. Well, then why did they stop with the no? That's the very cognizant yeah. of the blood. Oh, what a nice uppercut, and he drops him! Less than 10 seconds to go here, we'll be able to survive! He's still moving, he's still moving. Good. Oh my goodness, wow. what a turn of events here at the end of round number one. A fight that Carl Albrechtson, or a round that Carl Albrechtson was dominating, yeah. only to have it completely turned around by Cristiano Froelich. So sometimes those position changes actually do you right. They actually save you from losing the round, which is what we saw right here. There's that body kick just completely wow. up at his him. legs shut down here. But as we said, Albrechtson was dominating, and then that little push there, and then he just comes across here and then drops him. Uppercut landed flush. Oh, wow, nice. Two punch combo. Now, if you are in the corner of Carl Albertson, what are you telling him? Recover. We need to. We need to, the first 30 seconds. I need to be on your bike. You need to make sure you're fully recovered before you do anything. Then when you go in, I need you to punch into a takedown, not just try to shoot a takedown for the reason. Seconds out. My goodness! If looks could kill, the look that Vanderlei gave one of the inspectors. <laughs> Get your hands off my fighter. Here we go. Round number two here. Albertson's backing away here. He still hasn't recovered fully. Rolich is hunting. Look at the time. Threw that right on the offbeat there, Frank. Did you notice that? Yeah. Good jab now. Albrechtson with a low inside kick. We should use a bit more of those. I know it's easier said than done, Frank, but are you surprised Cristiano Froelich isn't picking up the pace here? Yeah, I am, actually. Especially being the Vandalay protege. You've you knocked the guy down at the end of the first round. Let's, let's pick it up for about 45, 50 seconds, see what happens. He didn't do any of that. He kind of sat around the first round. The thing with Carl is that Albrechtson always bleeds. He's always, always. Like, so, so it doesn't. So it's not like, oh, it's, the fight's about to be over and chase him down, but still, once you've got him cut, you got him, oh, yeah, he's getting beat up, let's keep attacking. He's not, Froelich is kind of hanging back a little bit. Nice uppercut attempt there by Froelich, but it was answered beautifully on the, on the uh, weave there. By Albrechtson. Nice left hook landed there, nothing, not powerful. Albrechtson's using that jab just as Froelich comes in. Keeps him on the outside, doesn't want to throw anything back. Inside leg kick also out and bounces in quite a bit. Oh, wow, it's another. You see it now. Yeah, so it hurt. Yeah. <laughs> he throws one of his own here, slips and falls. Albrechtson tries to attack, but no, Froelich is able to get back up and keep his opponent at bay now. Two minutes, 36 seconds to go. Oh, nice answer there by Albrechtson. That's a nice check. A beautiful punch there. Should have kicked him in the head on the way up. I thought that's what was going to happen. I thought he was holding down for it. 
Carlos get the advantage this entire fight. Like everything is working his way now. Yeah, he, and he's doing great with the distance as well. Kind of just getting out of the way slightly from each punch and right back into position. Oh, Carl walked right into that hook. No defense at all. Had really cheering on his fighter. Anything that he does, he's a big cheer. <laughs> Oh, nice time there. Nice time to right there, but a good answer back by Froelich. And Carlos just threw that right, hit him, and st stood still. Yep. There is a nice body shot there. Those are going to add up. There. Oh, I think Froelich is ready for that one. Hit his arm down. But now with its arm down, a perfect opportunity. Ooh. Kyle keeps jumping into that, into that hook. And I thought Froelich was going to throw a low leg kick of where, of where Albrechtson was standing. Albrechtson's doing a really good job of moving his head left and right, yep. and then as he dips to the left, that leg comes behind it. So even if you try to throw and catch him as he's dipping that way, you still catch the kick. Combination thrown there by Froelich. Tight. 30 small. seconds to go. We saw what he did in round one, Froelich. Nearly had the fight stopped. Oh, a nice right landed there by Albertson there. He's winning this round, Frank, in my opinion. Wow, I mean, it's, it's a little bit of back and forth. Just like in round one, Froelich picks up the pace. Oh, and a nice left landed there by Albertson. This one is going to be tough to judge so far. Yeah, it's close. Now, of course, Albertson bleeding. No surprise there. The question is, though, in Froelich's corner, what kind of advice are they giving him? Because he had the opportunity to pick up the pace after what happened in round number one, and he didn't. It's almost like he allowed Albertson back Albertson into back the in fight. There. He did for sure, yeah. For sure he let him back into it. And as a result, now we're still in a, he's still in a fight that he doesn't really necessarily have to be in still. Erickson feels like he still has a little chance to win. Obviously, Cristiano has a chance to win. So now both guys are getting ready to do battle. Step into this next round when you could have had one guy kind of already on the fence ready to quit at this point. But you let him off. You got to, you know, folks, when you're a fighter, this is your profession. You got to recognize, hey, I dropped that guy. It's only been a minute. Maybe, he's still, maybe he did recover. Maybe he didn't. Give me three seconds to find out. One way or the other. If he recovered, they can back off and change the game plan. If he hasn't, they just keep attacking, and the fight's over the next round. Here we go. Third and final oh, round. Can one of these two gentlemen earn themselves a finish, sending a message to the gentleman? in our main event. <laughs>
the side control here, stabilizing it, driving his hips down. I mean, it makes sense. He trains at the, at the Pancrase Gym in Sweden, um, but this is very Pancrase style of grappling on top. He's got 10 spots he can go to at this spot. He knows which way to go. And he's basically just maintaining position, but not trying to get overzealous with anything. And in a fight like this, they do judge by the whole fight. Yep. This is a way to win the fight. You know, if you have any questions about whether or not you're winning the first or second, you're going to completely dominate the third. Now you've got a chance to win the whole thing. Right, Froelich has now less than two minutes to get out of this position, sway or swing the momentum into his favor, because right now he is cruising to a loss here in his debut at Ryzen. This is the last thing Vanderlei Silva wants is two of his protégés yeah. losing tonight. <laughs> Minute 24 to go here. Just Albrechtson being systematic. He's chipping away at his opponent. Trying to get some elbows in there. Grinding the forearm across his opponent's forehead. We're talking about uh, Vanderlei if... He, if uh if uh, Fulich loses, that both his fighters tonight lose, in uh, most countries, it's the, it's the athlete's problem. You know, you yeah. lost, you know, you didn't do enough to win, but in Japan, if the roles reverse as a Japanese, like Abe or, yep. or anybody else, or any other coaches, they would take it upon themselves, hey, it's my fault you lost, I didn't train you well enough to give you the right game plan. It's just interesting how the, the philosophies are changed with, yep. with how fighters are looked at towards their athletes. Or coaches rather, not fighters. Coaches are looked at towards their athletes. A plethora of rights, be it fists or elbows, being thrown by Albertson right now. None of them doing a lot of damage. None of them are going to be a, you know, a finisher where he's going to quit or tap out or, or get knocked out. But it's enough that he's going to cut him open a little bit more. And Got then, him cut on that right eye. And then the, the judge is going to see it. Like he completely dominated his top side. Albertson now trying to sneak that left knee through. Ten seconds to go here. Frolich's corner saying, go, 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 go. There's a knee there by Albertson. And even by the look on his face, Frolich yeah. realizes, you know what? I lost this fight. Despite putting his hands up, Didn't do enough. deep down inside, he knows he lost this fight. That's okay, a good showing. He came out and shows he can get hit and, and get beat up pretty good. He still has the ability to be able to come back up and continue. I'm sure we'll see him back again. Of course, he's you know, got to remember the Van Lee Silva guy, so he's completely loved in Japan. I sincerely don't know if he'll be back. I have a sense here that sometimes the way things are done, I mean, anything can happen. But the excitement factor is extremely important here. He's coming back, though. He's coming back. <laughs> yeah, <I'm> coming. <laughs> no, watch, no, watch. He wins this whole thing and we're both idiots. Hunting of the goal, I'll stay in space. Judge Wada Aka Ka. There you have it, unanimous judges' decision victory for Carl Albertson as he takes on Cristiano Froelich for the unanimous judges' decision, moving his record to nine wins, two defeats. Did he make enough of a statement to convince the rising matchmakers that, you know what, he deserves to face the winner if you've ever emerged victorious in tonight's main event for the light heavyweight championship between, between King Mola Wall and Yuri Prohaska.